This is not the 30-year-old's first run-in with police. She has a pending abuse case. And at a sentencing hearing in March on a separate case, the judge ordered her to obtain mental health treatment until clinically discharged. 30-year-old Jill Hansen, a self-described surfer and model and glamour girl who gives talks, basically saying how wonderful she is, but she has a very, very troubled history. Her own dad sought protection from her, saying that she went on Facebook and tried to hire somebody to kill him. And gee, I'm holding the protection order that he filed in my hand. Now, uh, she then, according to cops, had a rage incident where she tried to kill an elderly woman. The elderly victim uh, was hospitalized. She's going to be okay, but she was uh, really, really hurt. Watch this from ABC's Good Morning America. I drove home and I drove into my parking garage and I parked in my normal parking place and I got out and then all of a sudden I woke up in an ambulance. Look at the face of that 73 year old woman. Uh, her name's Elizabeth Conklin and we are so happy that she survived but she thinks that Jill was trying to steal her cops. Uh, her car cops thought it was a road rage and i would think it's more likely a road rage since that's jill's car jill does already have her own car so i, I want to go out to the phone lines pam california what do you think about this woman and her her tedx talks and her self-promotion and and her self-adulation and then the rage i think she's a wannabe and i think she's a pathetic liar and a person that believes her own lies and I think she's right where she should be, in jail. Uh, yes. Now, what's very interesting, you mentioned lying. Jill Hansen, um, in a speech, said she doesn't lie. Watch this from YouTube TEDx. I didn't prepare a speech today. I decided to speak from the heart. You know that it's honest. I haven't told a lie since I can't remember when. To live honest, to speak the truth, to have integrity, to in every way possible align myself with what the very best human being could be. I mean, y'all yeah, smoke a cigarette now and then, or I'll have a, you know, those are my vices. I'm not a perfect human. Oh my gosh, Wendy Murphy, former prosecutor. You know, when people start talking about how spiritual and wonderful they are, I grab my wallet and my purse and I run in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a little too much protesting going on about how good thou art. Um, you know, this is a tough call because on the one hand, she's clearly rageful. She's got a really bad history of bad behavior. But that makes me wonder why. Hmm. What made her do these things? Threaten to kill her father, try to kill hmm. this woman. Where is that coming from? There's, that just doesn't happen. Well, you don't just kind of grow up and go, boom, I think I'll true. just start, you know, killing people. Where well, is that you know, coming Dr. from? Dr. Could, could be a lot here. And frankly, yeah. with most defendants, when they're sitting there, especially if they're ugly and they don't look like her, nobody really cares why, why she tried to run somebody over. They just want to find out, did she do it? Now, it seems like, you know, this woman seems to be manipulative. She uses her looks. Well, to get what she wants, and I think she <laughs> she thought, my personal feeling is this is the type of woman who thinks she can do anything and get away with it, that there's no accountability because she manages to yeah. seduce with her well, looks. Well, you know what, you know what, Jane? We call it the halo effect. You know, it, in our country, there's this idea that when you're beautiful, you're considered more smart, uh, people, you get away with more, you get the job before the ugly person does. It's the halo effect, and so she's doing all of these seemingly you know, these are significant crimes, and this, this is a red flag, but she's beautiful. She's blonde, she's thin, she's a model, she's a pony, she's Wonder Woman, she's everything. I'm every woman. <laughs> Alexis Terrestrial, I'm giving she's, you the last Jane, word. She, she's an attention whore, she's Jane. Not she just even wants attention, good crying. or bad. Yep, Alexis. She's not even crying. Look at this mugshot. This is a glamour shot. She's right on up there with Portia Williams for best mugshot of the year. She is not even taking this seriously. I really am gonna stick with she wanted the car and this poor woman just got in the way. Luckily, she wasn't killed.